Alright, I told you guys I'm going to post everything that happened, so as embarrassing as this is, none of you can lie, we've all been here, I strapped the brake line and broke it, so I'm going to re, re uh, do this brake line on the right rear, and then start pulling the trans to change out the converter. So let's do this. Alright. This is my first time using one of these for flaring the brake line for the fitting. Let's see how it looks. Alright, then. What the heck is going on here? Woo. Get the trans pulled? Sir, waiting on us, you're moving backwards. Ben, what's going on here? Should have got a Tahoe with a 6.2, man. Dude, I know, right? The 5.3. Dude, the, talk about rental. This thing, freaking jackpot of a rental car. We got this thing at seven miles on seven it. Miles. Seven miles. Seven miles. Nice. Oh, we're breaking her in real <laughs> crispy. All right, so we got the trans pulled. We got the converters here from Circle D. They overnighted it to us. I also got a flex plate from Summit. They got it here overnight as well. So we are looking good here to get this thing back together. All right, George, what is Parker owe you for this one? Welcome back, guys, to Teeth and Turbos. <laughs> I hold the trans. We got the converter out of this here Mustang. And uh, going back in, we got a nothing but the best Circle D billet converter and it's pretty bad to the bone. We're gonna slap this baby on right now Parker to get back with the flex plate and uh, we're gonna hit, get this thing back together and make a hit. CI flex plate. Just line her up here make sure it fits on the motor. That's good to go. Like a glove. Like a glove. Let's see how it matches up for the converter. Dude this thing is Yeah, they're in the trunk. Making sure it doesn't wear anywhere. George, you want to give this a look see? Make sure we're Gucci. On here? No. <laughs> I was like, what? Put a Loctite on here, dude. All right, we're going back together. Still haven't reached a moment of truth yet, but she's back together. Transmission is back in there. choose the four life but the four life chose me you know no 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 that's where she stays dude <laughs> but if we lose it Big you know trouble. how to pick a lock like that yeah hammer with <laughs> a hammer hammer fixes it there. we're going to tech in right now which i'm a little stressed about because it's like our gateway into the event we have everything ready we have all of our gear our safety gear everything's up to standard gotta get through tech, so here we go. Check it in. Same as you, unlimited. Yeah. 
No, 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 the Range Rover's unlimited. Oh, really? What is this? I know. Really? Is it really? Yeah. Wow. I'm podium, you want to bet? Ah. How much? Uh, your trophy that you won't get. <laughs> what about trophies? You want to know how I know I'm going to podium? How? There's only three of us. Oh, dude, I should join that class. You can't, not now. No, I told get, you. It's on what stickers you got up front? I don't have them yet. Oh, dude. Nice burnout. Looking good. So we can see the end of the car. He's got to pull up a bunch still, but look at that sticker. Looks good, dude. Ben Baller. Look at Uncle Chad, double pull, dude. Yeah. Hey, I love it. All right, ready? Right here. Good frame up. Get Uncle Chad in there too. Twelve one for Parker. Seventeen. Was he like? Was he in second? Maybe. I don't know. That was weird. So just to explain what happened, we were all confused because we tested it multiple times and then pull the data log, which is triggered by, you know, throttle position sensor 70%. I'm like, damn it, there's no data log. That's so weird. And then I didn't have the throttle past 70%. Yeah. <laughs> he gets in, he goes right up on the chip and we realized it happened, dude. You freaking didn't floor it. Got to floor it on the next one. I got to floor it. I was all hot and bothered. Chet was next to me. There's a lot of people watching, but we made the first pass. The new converter works. We're gonna go back up and make a second hit. Next to Chet and getting back to the pits, I we didn't get up on the two-step all the way, and I think it's because I didn't have my foot floored all the way because I only ran a 12-18-4 at 172 miles an hour, and I know the car's way faster than that. And for it to not get up on the two-step after I put, pulled it up on the computer, it just shows that I just didn't have a floor. So I'm going to go back out and make another hit real quick. But I did beat Chet by seven, 70 tenths of a second. So we had the same mile an hour, but I still beat him just by just by a hair on a frog's back right there. All right, guys, Under after further inspection, I was messing around under the hood, and my throttle position sensor was unplugged. So I don't know if it was a me, I didn't have the throttle all the way down or if it was the TPS or a combination of both, but really hoping on this second run we get a quality number because it's already eight o'clock. We haven't made a second run yet, but hopefully within the next hour, we'll get another run in to get a solid time on the board before the night ends. Ben, how's your first race week going? Uh, you know, it's going well, actually. First day, feeling a little toasty? <laughs> Is that George laying on the ground over there too? Dude, everyone's laying on the ground. Vibes. Day one vibes. Day one vibes for sure. <laughs> Bro, right off that 850 index. Um, I'm thinking it would be a great idea if we make a deal that nobody showers for the whole rest of the week. Are we allowed to still smell like day one race? Week. Are we allowed to use body wipes or just no showering or anything? I think nothing. Deodorant? The spirit of race week is no showers. What about toothbrush? Uh, Did you ever get one today? No, just the old finger. Ooh. These fingers are a little dirty. It's but probably like a 50% uh, too scrubbing. Transmission fluid actually shines them really well. Does it? Yeah. Huh. Good to know. Yeah. Parker, how are you feeling for the second round? Feeling good, dude. Ready to do this. Make it happen.
definitely room to turn this car up because that was a solid pass unless for some reason my my throttle foot wasn't down all the way but what was it 11.48 I mean I left the line solid it hooked that's good and 169.60 foot 7.3 to the eighth I feel like it's got a lot of room to improve but I mean it was a solid pass good data run you know hey as long as the transmission's working <laughs> dude James locked up his motor heard about that that's a tough one dude freaking TPS fell off again it was literally dangling down here by the turbo gotta get this in we're gonna zip tie it on now I don't know if it's bouncing off of the two-step or what but I guess we'll see this will hold it should hold that's the a zip tie can handle right All right, guys, this is our cousin Ben, Garrett and I's cousin Ben. He's riding co-pilot with me this week. Where's our stop? Uh, the Petrified Wood Gas Station. All right, 340 miles tomorrow. Right out in the middle of nowhere. All right.